Shalom, Brother Kabai back with a GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and who rule well. A dollar shalom to all the sincere Akims, man. Throughout the four corners of the earth, preaching this truth through diligence and sincerity. Peace and blessings be unto you. <clears throat> this lesson I want to get into, man, was a, it was a, a, a dream. It was a vision that I had last night, man. And, um, you know, I, I figured that I would share with brothers because, um, it was, it, it was very powerful, man. Um, you know, I woke up that that last night just 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 shaking man from the dream that i had the vision and i had to share it with a brother man and the brother inspired me to do this video so the title of this lesson is the vision of uh the book of amos chapter 5 verse 18 because we read this scripture right before we ended camp Saturday, okay, and I dream, <laughs> I dream, I had this vision that later on that night, man. So, without further ado, I'm gonna play, uh, play the video of camp from when we read the scripture. Now I'm going to the, uh, the the dream, and then we're gonna go on some scriptures and play more of the video. All right, so that's the that's the beginning of Amos the fifth chapter, the eighteenth verse. It says, "Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord." <clears throat> now, in my in my vision, in my dream, I um I was it's like, it's like I was at work, and um I remember a woman being with me. I couldn't see her face, but I remember a woman walking with me, and um. As I, you know, ponder throughout the day on that dream, it made me think about, you know, the wisdom, you know, not an actual woman, but the wisdom, you know, the wisdom and knowledge of understanding these scriptures, man. And, um, you know, I went out, it's like I left my job. It was a regular day. I left my job. I went out and, um, it's like I was sitting on top of something and, um, I see a chariot fly overhead. It was like a... It was a, it was a small chariot, <clears throat> you know, and um, it flew over, just gliding by over my head, and I was you know I was I was like wow yo it's a chariot it's a chariot, and um, you know I was excited I was happy, you know, and then right right after that chariot went by, came the a large chariot I mean, it was the biggest chariot. You know, ever, man. It covered the whole sky. And, you know, it made me think about Ezra's. You know? And, um... I'm gonna grab that real quick. That's the first thing that popped in my head. You know, Ezra saw the chariot. And, you know, he couldn't... He couldn't, you know, figure out where the uh, the ending. Or where it, you know... Is that, Let me get the scripture. Let the scripture speak. This is uh second Ezra's chapter... 13, 2nd Ezra chapter 13, verse 6. It says, But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain. So this is Ezra seeing the chariot of the Lord. Okay. 
it says, Be, but I beheld and loathed. He had a grave, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. And that's the same thing that I envisioned. I seen this huge chariot the size of a mountain. And I couldn't see where the where the sides were at. I couldn't see where it ended. Only thing I saw is where it came in at the top part. And it covered the entire sky. So when the scriptures say every eye shall see him, every eye shall see him. And I was I was I was terrified. I was terrified. You know? And the chariot covered the whole sky. The clouds, everything turned turned pitch black. You know, it was like the the the, the sky was pitch black with like a purple, a purple, a dark purple lighting to it. Okay, and all I could hear was deaths of people screaming, and I mean the screams and the 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 the, the, the hollering that I heard. I've never heard these type of screams in my life it was a different type of out of this world type of screams man you know so i'm gonna play the video some more and then i'll go back into the dream the dream the vision And that's the thing. The day of the Lord is dark, not light. And that's what all that's the only thing I seen was complete darkness. I was terrified. I was terrified. The only thing I could see was the chariot and people hooping and hollering and screaming. It's going to get bad out here for our people. It's going to get bad out here for everybody. You know, that's why it's so important to have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of these scriptures. Okay. As the dream, as the vision went on, you know, <clears throat> the person that was with me. Okay. Uh, we, 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 we fled and we went from, from house to house, kicking in doors, trying to find a safe place to you know, keep our heads covered from the, the death and destruction. And so we went into one house and um it was it was completely quiet and it was like um like a tunnel. When you go inside the house it was like a tunnel and um I was like well maybe if I maybe if I open up this the, this door to this tunnel, you know, we'll be okay down there. And the spirit was like I wouldn't do that. You know, the spirit was guiding me and the spirit told me not to do that. And as soon as that, as soon as I, I, I hearkened to the spirit, um, this couple came from around like the corner in the house. And it was like, uh, like this, uh, this Jake and this Edomite woman. And it was coming up. There was all, you know, soft spoken and all this and that in the third. And, um, I started backing up like, yeah, like I'm about to get up out of here. And so, um, I heard, like, you know how in the houses have, like, ventilation systems? 
and I, I, I could hear through the vent of like death moans coming from the bottom of that, that tunnel where the spirit was telling me not to go down there because obviously there was death down there. It sounded like people were dying. I could hear the moans of death moans through the ventilation system. So the spirit was guiding me the whole time and I got up out of there. And then the next part of the vision was I was just, you know, walking and, you know, I was walking along a, along a creek of like water that was just like, you know, running. But the point of this this vision, man, was I was I was completely terrified of the the energy and the power that the Lord brought when he came. You know? And I and I woke up and I was just I was I was shaking, you know, and I had to call a brother. But the point is, the Lord is coming back, and and, and the day of the Lord is gonna be dark and very dark. And that Amos five and eighteen was a vision that I I, I happened to dream that very same uh, day later on that night. You know, <clears throat> like the scriptures say, this is a. Uh, this is the book of um because we brought this out too during camp this is the book of isaiah chapter 13 verse 9 behold the day of the lord cometh cruel that's right both with wrath and fierce anger so the day of the lord is coming back cruel with wrath and fierce anger and that's what I visualize in the vision and the dream. You know, everything got completely dark. People were running, hooping, and hollering. You know, the screens. I've never heard those types of screens in my life. It, it was very terrifying. And it was so dark that you could barely see anything around you. <clears throat> okay, it says, um, Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord come cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. Mm -hmm. And them chariots was bringing the fierce anger, uh, uh, anger. Okay, it says to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Okay, so the Lord's coming back to lay this place called America desolate, man. You know he's going, he's going to make sure them ICBM missiles be shot off. He's going to make sure the laser beams from the chariots is beaming down uh, uh, two thirds, and and delivering the elect, man. <clears throat> you know, because the, the, the last part of the scripture says, and he should destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And that's what I was hearing, man. I was hearing the, the yells, the hooping, the hollering, the screaming of the sinners, man. And, and, and those, those, those cries, those yells alone is what, is what terrified me too. It terrified me, you know, because I've never heard those type of horrific sounds before in my life. You know? I'm going to grab another precept. I'm going to stay in Isaiah because this is going into the dream too. This is um, Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. That's right. And, and and that's how the Lord came in the vision. You know, he just popped up, you know, and, and was destroying everything, man. You know? I mean, wind was blasting, you know, it was uh, the elements, it was it was raining. Okay, you had uh uh, uh um buildings, everything being disintegrated, man. And I was just surprised I was able to get up and move. You know? Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. That's right. And that's what the Lord was doing in my vision, man. You know? He was beaming down everything, man. Everything was disintegrating. You know? Verse 16, for by fire and by a sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, 
and the slain of the Lord shall be many. And and that's the thing, man. The slain of the Lord shall be many. So it be in your best interest, you Hebrew Israelites, man, the elect, to get right with the God of the Bible now, man. Because that vision, that, that dream I had, man, you know, like I said, words can't explain it, man. You know, that type of fear is is only 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 comes from 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 the Most High, man. You know, brothers pray for more fear, and you know, that's just something. You know, I didn't expect the Lord to show me that. You know what I mean? Because brothers pray for fear, but you know, you know, be careful what you ask for. You know, because the Lord will give it to you, and that definitely shook me up. You know, it made me think about. You know, a lot of things, man. You know, just the things that people cherish in this life, all the carnal things is not worth it, man. You know, get right with the God of the Bible or die, man. Or or die, man. Point, point blank, period, man. You know, our people want to, uh, want to, you know, I just let scripture speak. This is Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rough do corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. That's right, man. And in that day, you, you're not going to be worrying about the, the carnal things that you have, man. If if, you, if you're if you into money, cars, clothes, and holes, okay, and you're a hero, it's like, put it off, man. Put it away. It's not worth it, man. Store up the true riches, man. Get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, man. I'm telling you, that was a frightful vision, and I can't explain it, you know, in words to make to to magnify how terrible that vision was, and what's gonna happen here, you know, when the Lord comes back. But you know, leave all the carnal things alone. The Book of Saint Matthew six and twenty, but lay up for thy set for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rough do corrupt. And where thieves uh, do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, that will your heart be also. That's right, man. You know, where, you, where your treasure is, that's where your heart's going to be. And your heart needs to be on the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, man. Because this, this, this is what's going to keep you stable. As Isaiah says, it's Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's right, man. You know? So, in, 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 in the times that we're in, the times that come, the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures is what's going to keep us stable, man. You know? The Lord is beaming everything down to hell. You Do you really think having a Bugatti or having a fresh pair of J's in a box that's been signed by Michael Jordan is going to save you, going to deliver you, man? Is you crazy? Is you crazy, man? All I could think about was 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 the scriptures, man. You know? And you better pray and hope in that day that the Lord is guiding you and dealing with you, man. You know? Let me see. Um, and the scripture said that this would happen, man. You know? The scripture said that, you know, brothers would have dreams. Matter of fact, let me just get it. This is the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 17. And it should come to pass in the last days, which we are in the last days of the last days, saith the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. That's right. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions. And that's the thing, man. That was a vision right there that I seen in my dream. You know, of the Lord coming back on his mountain chariot that I couldn't see where 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 the sides were. I couldn't see where the, the ending of the mountain of this chariot was. Only thing I could see was the this huge chariot, man. And and, and that's what frightened me. That's what frightened me, right? The power coming from that chariot. It was the power. You know? It says Acts 2 and 17, and it should come to pass in the last days. Say of the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. That's right. You see uh, uh, men and women 
having visions, man. You know? Of, of what the Lord's coming to do. Or what the Lord's bringing in these last days, man. You know? It says, And your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And that's the thing, man. You know, that, that was just a vision, a dream that the Lord uh, showed me. And I'm sharing it with you, brothers. Okay? And, um, you know, this Lord willing, this was an edifying video. You know, I just had to share this with brothers, man. You know, um, you know, the day of the Lord is going to be ugly. You know, so brothers in this truth, you know, uh, continuing the faith, you know, pray fast, you know, um, just keep pushing and stick with the words of your how about shimmy out shot it. Because the day of the Lord is going to be a dark day. But saying that, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaf, Wadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And now, Shalom to all the sincere Akimans throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.